What's good you guys, Big Al here with Al's Auto Detail. Today I'm going to be giving you guys some advice on locking in higher in clientele, selling those top tier services, pretty much just locking in clientele willing to pay those upscale prices. Today we're working on this X1M 35i, brand new. I'm talking about only 74 miles on it and we are doing a complete inside and outside service. The client just wants to go that extra mile and have it like completely new to them. So we're working on this today. We're also gonna be working on their BMW M3 competition. So let's get it going. Let's start off with presentation. And no, I'm not talking about having an expensive setup, having diamond plate on your rig, having the most expensive equipment. That is not what I mean. I mean the way you dress, are you shaved, the way you speak, the, the way you smell, honestly. All of that the clients are paying attention to. It's something so insignificant and you might not think it's a big deal, but honestly, it is. Clients don't want someone that looks raggedy, bummy. you know, <laughs> bummy, who has a bad odor. They don't, you know, if you have any of the above, they're not gonna want you to service their vehicles and especially not at an upscale charge, you know? When it comes to locking in these higher end details, the way you speak to them is a big factor. They're gonna wanna book with someone who knows what they're doing, who knows how to answer their questions, someone who has experience. So if, the, if you're talking to them, you don't know how to answer the questions properly, and you just pretty much overall seem like you don't know what you're doing, they're less likely to schedule with you. And they're gonna want a, a detailer who knows what they're talking about, knows how to answer the questions correctly, and they're gonna be the ones to lock in that higher end detail. Don't lose out on that, you guys. Some advice is pretty straightforward, like punctuality. Always remember to show up on time. I can't tell you guys how many times I've heard, you know, clientele just tell me like, oh, you know, my other guy was always late or he wouldn't show up. He would make up excuses or reasons why he can't make it that day. You guys, punctuality, show up on time. To add a little more on the topic of showing up on time, also, something simple you can do is, you know, giving clients ETAs or status updates on like, you know, how far you are. A quick text is so simple, you know, just tell them, you know, I'm about an hour away. Oh, hey, we're finishing up this appointment. We'll see you shortly. Something like that is, you know, just so simple and just gonna, you know, make you go that extra mile as far as customer service. Working on your business profile is very important as well. By that, I mean like your Google profile, your Yelp profile, your website work on your reviews what I like to do is I always after a detail service I end up sending either the same day or the next day I send a quick text and you know it's a, it's a copy and paste that I already have set up you know thank you for your service we appreciate your business um, you know if you would if you love the service feel free to leave a review then I send a link to our Yelp and to our Google my business so they can leave you know, a review on either one of those. I mean, sometimes they leave it on both and you know, that's a double win for you. Another great thing about having those reviews is it gives the client a sense of security. They see, so if you have all five-star reviews, you know, great feedback from clients, they're like, okay, you know what? This guy knows what he's doing. Check this out. I trust him with my, you know, exotic car, sports car, luxury vehicle. And you know what? I understand why he charges what he charges. Always be respectful to your client. Always be respectful to the neighbors surrounding your client's house. Always keep a tidy work area. You know, if you're doing a full detail and you get a bunch of trash from inside the vehicle, don't just leave it outside when you leave. Have a trash bag, you know, carry some trash bags in your work van, in your work truck. Pick all that up, you guys. Don't just leave it lying around. You know what? That's on that note, let's wrap it up. I'm gonna show you guys some, you know, shots of the X1M that we just cleaned up. Thank you guys for watching. Give me some advice on what you guys want to see next. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your thoughts. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Big Al with Al's Auto Detail. Big Lee. Big Lee. <laughs> Big Lee. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.